Hey everyone, Andrew Chomon here with a machine quick tip, this one on how to build a cool little rise and fall effect that you can use in your machine projects. Um, so before I get into too many of the details, I just want to show you how it sounds, so go ahead and take a listen. So you can hear this effect happens in this breakdown scene, it has a nice little fall and then it returns as it transitions into the next scene. Nice way to add some movement to your project. Um, so let's go ahead and mute my other groups and just we can focus on what we're actually going to be working on. So the, the basis of this effect is just a couple seconds of white noise. I went online and searched around for a white noise effect, um, but you can also create it with a synthesizer such as Massive, I believe. Um, so anyways, the, the sound is just like this without any effects on top of it. Pretty boring, but we're going to go ahead and use machines effects to turn this into a cool little effect. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the filter on top of here. Um, you can see my settings that I have set over here. Um, the mode is on bandpass. My cutoff is all the way to the top. You can set your resonance to whatever you want. And the most important things are going to be over here in the modulation section. Um, I went ahead and just messed around with this until it worked with me. And these are the settings that happen to work with my specific pattern of four bars long. And yes, this is going to depend on how long your pattern actually is. Um, so like I said, my pattern is four bars. So I have my speed on four over one, and I have my amount on all the way to the left. So negative 100, my shape all the way to the left as well, and my phase over at 100%. And it's also important to note that you have the source on your LFO sync, and that's just going to make sure that your that your modulation is happening in time with your project tempo. Um, so basically what this is going to do is modulate the filter in time with the with the specific pattern that you have sequenced. Um, so you can see here I have the white noise playing the entire length of the pattern, and I just have my automated filter sweep that's going to create the effect as the pattern plays. Um, so it sounds like this. So the nice thing is that we don't actually have to write any automation. Um, the sync LFO and our filter is automatically doing that sweep for us, and it's doing it much smoother than we would be able to do um, just by uh, writing in our own automation from the hardware. Um, so once I have my filter on top of that, I also added some ice reverb on top just to add some more dimension to the overall effect, and you can also do any other effects that you please. Um, but once you have it all put together, go ahead and unmute your other groups and take a listen to it in context. It sounds really cool. So hopefully you find this helpful for your own projects. I think it has quite a few applications in, in lots of different types of tracks. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you on next week's video.